AI is already transforming our lives. In fact, the UK government has called AI the defining technology of our age. It's changing how we work, how we communicate and how we learn. So the big question is, should your kids be using AI to do their homework? Let's start with the AI elephant in the room. A lot of them already are. Chatbots like ChatGPT and Claude are already helping pupils with essays, maths problems and exams. Some use AI to check their grammar, critique coding projects or brainstorm ideas for school presentations. And it's not just teenagers. University students and teaching staff also use AI for research, revision and project planning. The AI genie is well and truly out of the bottle. But is this a good thing? Some worry it's the start of a slippery slope, that kids will use AI to cheat, they'll stop thinking for themselves, or their writing will all start to sound a bit samey. Others see it as a great opportunity to harness new technology to learn more, faster and better. So what's the reality? Let's start with the positives. AI tools can help personalise learning. If a pupil struggles with a topic, they can get help instantly without the embarrassment of putting up their hand in class. If English is their second language, an AI chatbot can provide answers in their first language. AI can adjust the difficulty level, offer different explanations and provide endless practice. Students might ask, explain photosynthesis to me at a KS2 level, or give me some multiple choice questions about the Tudors. This can support kids to learn at their own pace. But there are downsides. One big concern is accuracy. AI chatbots can sound confident even when they're wrong. A 2024 study found sources containing page numbers that didn't exist and even attributions of a paper to an author who died long before the publication date. That's why it's crucial for learners to double-check, cross-reference with textbooks and official course material and not take everything the chatbot says at face value. Then there's bias. AI tools are trained on existing internet content, which means they can reflect the biases of the internet itself. For example, generating images that always show doctors as male and nurses as female. Do you really want your child growing up thinking that? <clears throat> and then there's dependence. If students rely too much on AI, they might miss out on developing their own critical thinking, creativity or resilience. We all know that learning isn't just about getting the right answer. It's about the struggle, the mistakes and the working out. So what's the right approach? Encourage your children to be open and honest about when they use AI. Think of it as a calculator or a spreadsheet. We don't ban them in maths, but we do teach children when and how to use them properly. People have different views about AI. The Open University advises its students to use generative AI to work with you, not for you. And that tip can be applied more broadly across education. AI should be used as an assistant to learning, not a substitute. Your child could ask it to explain a concept they're struggling with in different or simpler words. Once they think they've understood, they should check this against another source or ask the AI to quiz them. When writing essays, they could ask an AI for some key themes or discussion points, then use the ones they think work best. Here are five key things to consider when using AI. 1. Get familiar with the school or university's guidelines. This is a rapidly developing field, and many are now setting or updating their policies. 2. Talk to your child's teachers, for example at parents' evening. How do they recommend using AI? What sources do they find reliable? 3. Talk to your kids about how and when they're using it. Encourage them to be honest. Using AI isn't necessarily cheating, but pretending you didn't is a different story. 4. Remind them to show they're working. If they use AI to brainstorm an idea or help plan an essay, great, but they should still understand what they've done and why. And 5. Get curious yourself. Try out an AI chatbot and ask it about something you know well, like your favourite book or your type of job. See how it answers. That way you can better understand what it's good at and where it struggles. Finally, let's not forget learning is about more than just facts and grades. It's about curiosity, creativity and critical thinking. AI can support those things, but it can't replace them. So should you support your kids using AI for their homework? 
With the right guidance, the right attitude and a bit of caution, yes. Not because it will do the work for them, but because it might help them learn to do better work. There's a lot more to AI chatbots than we can squeeze into a short film, but we hope this has given you a start.